Praise the Most High. This is another Sabbath day, and we come out week in and week out to bring out the truth out of the Bible. John 8, verse 32. John 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And this is why Yahweh Shai, he came into the world. He didn't come in to tell any lies, and there was no guile in his mouth. He came to give testimony of the truth. And that's what we're going to do every Sabbath. He said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And this is why we come out. He said to come out, to go out to the highways and to the byways, and as many as you find, bid to the marriage. Revelation 16, 5 through 9. Revelation 16, 5 through 9. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink. And see, this is Jan the Revelator talking about all the, the saints of God that's been killed on the earth, and how he's passing his judgment on the earth as we speak. And he's not going to stop until he accomplishes his mission. Read. For they are worthy, and I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And this is why you're going to keep seeing all these fires. We're just going to bring out these prophecies, because this, is, because this whole Bible is the, is, the, is the spirit of prophecy. And this, everything that Christ said in this Bible, it's coming to pass. This is why you're going to keep seeing these fires. This is why you're going to keep seeing the tornadoes. This is why you're going to keep seeing all these judgments that the Most High God is bringing on this place. Read. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God. Because you guys been lying on the Anointed One, pushing Cesar Borgier as, as Christ, knowing that Christ had hair like wool and feet like the color of brass, as if it was burned in the furnace. This is why he has a controversy with this land, because of all the lies and the deceit. He has a, he has a problem with all these things that's been going on, and the Most High sees everything because he's omnipotent. Read. And, Go ahead, the nine. And they, which have power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And nobody wants to repent for all the wickedness that you've done here. But you don't have to worry about it much longer. Because the Most High God is coming after all of his adversaries. Whether you want to do it or not, you're still going to get that judgment that he's ordained to the wicked people in this Bible. Read. Is that it? Uh, uh, Second Ezra 15, 1 through 10, I believe. Second Ezra 15. So we're going we gonna to get into these prophecies of what's going on on the earth right now. See, everything has been written. All these things are written. That's why he said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. It's not going to change because you guys don't like it. Read. Second Ezra 15, 1 through 10. Behold, seek down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to speak the words of prophecy. This is, yeah, we understand that. We, we were the ones he chose. We, we don't need to be taught from Esau. We already, we already know. We already know all this. We, don't, we didn't come out to be taught. We didn't come out to be taught by, our, by the deceivers and the liars. Read. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to speak the words of prophecy the way that Yahweh did it, the way that Paul did it the way that Peter did it. We're going to give it to you the way that it was supposed to be given. Not the lies that they're saying at all these churches on Sunday when they go up there to worship the sun goddess. Because we know what they're doing up there. They're not worshiping the true and living God. Not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're not worshiping him. They're worshiping Sandra Bourdier, the one that Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo painted. We know all about it. Read. Which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord, and cause death to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See, these words of God, they're faithful and true. And everything that Yahweh said, it's coming to pass. And you guys are going to get that judgment for touching the apple of God's eyes. 
greed. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And all the people that speak against us, we're not even worried about it. How you have those haughty looks and those impudent eyes. We're not worried about any of that stuff because the Most High God said he's going to be our shield and our buckler, our fortress and our refuge, a very present help in a time of trouble. Read. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See, the Most High God said that all the unfaithful people and all the wicked people are going to die in their unfaithfulness. The Most High God already said this. These are prophecies that you're seeing on the earth. He's not going to stop until he accomplishes his mission. Read. Behold, said the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world. And this is why you're seeing all these plagues going on, on the, in the world. These are plagues. This is, the, this is the Most High God sending plagues on, in the world. This is what you guys are seeing. This is him at work. You guys, you don't have to believe it. Just wait and see. Just keep on doing what you're doing and watch how he takes care of his adversaries. Read. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. He said he's sending famine, death, and destruction. This is what the Most High God said he's going to do. Read. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Because all of your wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Read. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. And the Most High God says, your hurt, hurtful works that you've done here, they're fulfilled. See, it's reached up into the heavens where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. All this wickedness that you've done here, it hasn't gone unseen. Because the Most High, he's omnipotent. He sees all and he knows all. Read. Therefore saith the Lord, I'll hold my tongue no more at touching their wickedness. And he's not going to sit back and watch all this wickedness anymore on the earth. Now the Most High God is taking action on everybody that is wicked. Everybody that's wicked, he's coming after them. This is what it says in the Bible. He's coming after all his adversaries. Every single one of them. Read. Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Because the Most High God, he knows all that may be known. And he's not going to sit back and watch as you guys exercise in all this wickedness. He said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. This was a commandment from the foundation of the world, but nobody wanted to take heed. Now we're talking to God's people right here. The Israelites, who he said to do no buying, selling, or trading on this day. He said six days you can work, but that seventh day is a, is a rest, a day of rest from the Lord. Read. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. See, the Most High God knows about all the blood that's been shed. Here. He's seen it all. And this goes back to the blood of Abel, to the blood of righteous Zachariah. And it's going to be required of this generation. This is what the Most High God is saying. He's going to require that blood. Everything you guys have done, it's not going unpunished. Read. And the souls of the just complain continually. Because all those people that were slain, the souls of the just, they complain continually to the Most High God. And the Most High God, he's been hearing the cries of the just that's been slain. He's been hearing these cries. And now it's time for all the adversaries of God to get their judgment now. Read. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them. The Most High God is going to surely avenge our people for what we've gone through. He's going to take vengeance on his adversaries. And he's not going to greet you as a man. He's going to greet you as the Almighty God. Like he's doing with those floods, like he's doing with the tornadoes, like he's doing with the earthquakes, like he's doing with all those disasters. That's him at work. Because the Lord is a man of war. The Lord of hosts is his name. Read. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. And he's going to take care of all the people that have shed this innocent blood upon the earth. It doesn't matter if those police go to court and they say not guilty. The Most High God is coming after all of his adversaries, every single one of them. He doesn't care about your status. He said there's no amount of ransom that he's going to take from anyone. He doesn't care about the money. It never was about money with Yahweh Shai. Read. Behold, 
my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And the Most High God knows that we, our people have been led like a flock to the slaughter. The Most High God knows all about it. He's been watching this since Ancient of Days. This is why he's called Yahweh, which is Ancient of Days, because he predates dates. Read. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Let's get that real quick. Let's see, because we're going to prove all things, just like Paul said in Thessalonians. Prove all things. Let's see if this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. He wasn't actually crucified here. This, this wasn't the landmass, but this is where you guys covered up Yahweh Shai's face and put up Cedra Borger. Now, we don't do that. Go ahead, read that. Read that. Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The Most High said, your dead bodies are going to lie in the street. Read. Of the, in the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. In the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. This is where you guys covered up Christ's face. And that's even documented. Job 9 and 24. We're going to bring it all out, just like Christ did. We're going to bring out all these scriptures, the ones that your pastors don't want to bring out, and they can't. Because 